For today's tech tip, I'm going to discuss the different methods used for cutting holes in floor objects. As you can see here, I have a multi-story building. There are several different staircases, two of which have floors above them. The only problem is that I don't have an opening for my stairs. To demonstrate the issue, I'm going to switch to a top plane view, set my exterior walls class to invisible, select the 3D flyover tool, and rotate around my model in an OpenGL render mode. As you can see here, my stairs are placed in the location that I want with the correct height applied, but there isn't an opening in my floor for someone to walk through. To solve this issue, I'm going to switch to a top plan view and make my roof main class invisible. Because my stair height is defined by a Z height of my first and second floor layers, I can make my second floor layer my active layer, change my layer options to active only, and still see my stair object in a 2D view. The first method I want to show is using a surface object such as a rectangle, circle, polygon, or polyline to clip the opening out of the floor. For the circular stair, I'm going to select the circle tool and switch to the circle by three points mode. This mode allows me to click on three points of my stair to define the circle's diameter. Now that I've defined the area, all I have to do is select the circle and the floor object, go to Modify, Clip Surface. Once I have clipped the circle or the surface object out of the floor, all I have to do now is delete it. I'm going to switch to a saved view to show that the circle did in fact clip the hole out of the floor object. Next, I'm going to use the Clip tool in the Basic Tool Palette to clip a hole for the stair going to the third floor. To do this, I'm going to switch to a top plan view and make my third floor layer my active layer and set my layer options to active only. In order to clip a hole using the clip tool, you must first select the object that you want to clip geometry out of. I'm going to select the floor object, then select the clip tool, and because the stair is not drawn orthogonally, I'm going to switch to the polygonal selection mode of the clip tool to draw the shape of the hole. Using the loop command, I'm able to press the Z key on my keyboard and easily snap to points on my stair to define the hole that I need to clip out. Once I've finished outlining the stair, the hole will be cut out of the floor. To show you the end result, I'm going to change my layer visibility options, select the 3D flyover tool to rotate around the model, and then select an OpenGL render mode to see the changes. As you can see here, we have created two holes in two different floors.